How's everybody there? We're playing the Cat Beyond Space and Time. I mean, another Eden Cat Beyond Space and Time. Oof, jeez. And we're doing the Persona 5 one again, so... <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds weird. I thought I was just talking too much for the week of work, but... I think I actually am coming down with something. But it's... Tis the season, right? So, we are going to do... Another December draw. Oops, sorry, we're going to go to... Dreams. And I am out of it. Uh, we don't need to so we're, I'm gonna go for this one because I do want to get her other style. So we have 2,000, but I'm only gonna do one draw today. And we'll see what happens. The odds of getting this are literally like 1%, so I don't feel bad. I'm just hoping for not all threes. I will call that a success. Oh, sweet. Already there. Ah, uh, well, it's just pride. Whatever. Like I said, I, I'd call that a success if it wasn't all threes, so we're there. Oh, okay, we're doing better than I thought we would. This is definitely better than I thought we were going to do. Nothing oh God, nothing great so far, but still better than I thought. <laughs> Very purely random draw. Not expecting a five-star or anything. Oh, that'd be awesome. Nah, that's going to happen. No, I want your other style, damn it. I mean, honestly, on any other day, that wouldn't have been a horrible draw, but it was just really bad today. All right, I guess maybe we can do one more one more shot. What do you guys think? Should we do one more shot at these another, at the, another style for her, or should I try to get Rosette? Eh, we'll figure out next time. All right, anyway. We got our party. We got Joker Morgana. So, yeah, we got our... Um, our Persona 5 party, we got Subame, Arena, Morgana, Joker, Miyu's there to, because I want to get her leveled up for her thing, and, you know, she's in the 50s, so she'll be our powerhouse, and then Seal, because I need to do theirs eventually also, so it made sense to just put them in here to get some levels, but anyway, I need to talk to Grandpa Mayor here to find out about Joker's thing. <laughs> He's like, oh, though, man, you sure see bring some weird friends around. Uh, just a few. D do you see who he's rolling with there? I know they're in Phantom Theme mode, which is why they're not using their real names, but they're also using their real name because the main character technically doesn't have a real name. I mean, I, I know canonically they always do, but like technically it's a character you that's you can make that anything you want. It's like, Salonian! Like, no, I never heard that before. Like, I'm old, I've heard of everything. Wait, you were an adventurer at one point? I, that, that's new to me. I've been playing this game for... What, 90 hours now? This thing even logged and tells you how long, you've been how long you've spent on this, or is that, like, would that be discouraging? Miss Fortune, you say? <laughs> Glenn's like, <laughs> Glenn's like, spit it out, old man. Or sorry, Cyrus. I keep calling to call him Glenn. I have been tinkering with a with a Chrono Trigger randomizer. If you guys are interested in like that, maybe I can do like a, uh, I don't know, stream of that or something. Maybe just uh, maybe just post it up. I got into that and I did the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer too. That one was hard. Fine, but hard. <clears throat> You'll need this. It's far from here. You need some kind of some kind of interdimensional sky fortress to get there. 
Would you explain how the grandpa got there? Hey, do you have room for all these guys in that caboose of yours, Morgana? Please take care of my boy. He's weak and fragile. Is there a quest here? Thirty stones, huh? Oh, I need, I need to remember that one. I'm assuming we need to go into the middle, the moonlight forest. Oh, just go outside. Or maybe it's simpler than I thought. Seem to transform before though. I mean, well, I guess this is a, if this is level thirty, you haven't done the uh, the ogre war stuff where you see them transform into their form. So I guess that would be a little more uh, shocking. Probably hopping between stories. Is it perfectly safe? I'm not apologizing for that one. I was gonna say, yeah. Ah, well, I guess it's just gonna be Joker and Morgana. Oh no, they're all coming. So how are they gonna explain why nobody else is here? Lock Niva. We get it, it's empty. Uh, what happened to those three? I get him. My neck and my back. I was gonna say, yeah, Amy should be used to something like that. She's actually, she's from the future. Wah wah. Like how Mona's obviously physically exhausted, but Rika's like, although his motion sickness will provide treatment. I say, Mayor, it looks like anybody's here. Well, let's split up, gang. Well, yeah, you told him to come. Unless this is a different disembodied voice. Things are going as intended in the pump. That's a weird phrase. Hey, quest giver, see you. No time for sightseeing. We're on a mission.
You sensed that? Hmm, that guy's got a different colored palette. He's probably the bad guy. Yep. He seems reasonable, but I don't think he will be. We deserve this punishment for not being killed by those monsters. Ah, he said the thing. And we heard you were saying something sinister. You want to speak up about that? to become your puppets like that's the weirdest way to put a con to put in a contract like um, so it says here that uh, in, in exchange for uh, shelter and money um, I'm not gonna become your employee I'm gonna become your puppet is that right where'd you hear that name no oh, I would jeez What are you going to do to her, man? This sounds like it's going to be definitely bad. Like, abuse. But we don't. <laughs> Anybody's like, anybody else find that weird? Just because the mayor is evil, he knew that the mayor was evil the whole time and decided not to send you? Or somebody, or anybody? True. Well, he knew, of course, he knew about it. He's like, what's with all this? He knew, yeah, it's like, Right, but he wasn't hiding that. He's like, Salonia, where'd you hear that name? He knew he 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 knew all about it. He said it was a cursed flower. He he obviously knew. He just said it's a no one talks about it. Yes, because it's uh, he said we're not supposed to mention it. He knows what's going on. I I thought that was obvious. Yeah, he seemed obviously yeah, exactly. There are no flowers in the village. That part makes sense. Unless we beat it out of him. Yes, before he does whatever the hell he's going to do to her. Let's get there first.
And conveniently, she's right around the corner. Or she's dead. Oh, it's not a grave, okay. Really? Is it you, old lady? He's already kind of mad with us, so it's fine. Uh, she looks pretty much like every other old lady character model we've seen in this game. Aldo's the one that gets that. He's usually the dumbest one in the group. Well, part of it was kind of garbled. Follow me and stay inconspicuous. Ooh. Damn it. Oh, I never realized that uh, Tsubame Naruto runs before. <laughs> Now she is a ninja after all, I guess that's a th that's a thing. Yes, please sleep, eat, take everything you want. This isn't your house, is it, old lady? Jeez, Mona, that was, like, way over-exaggerated. I mean, yeah, it looks important. But why does he hate flowers so... That's usually how it works, I guess. Oh my lord, we're gonna go, we're gonna freaking go into his heart Persona 5 style and change it, aren't we? That's the whole plot of this, of this uh, episode. Alright, come along, old lady. Nothing you're seeing out stories. No flowers here. Guys, you're just gonna let this go down? Yep, 
Yes. Yeah, I'm curious what these sins are. Definitely not. Sounds perfectly normal to me. It's like, take my advice and leave this village. Don't ever come back. Nope, you can't. Uh, so we're gonna go around and talk to three different people and then, I, I, I already guessed what the plot is. Oh, but if it's like Persona 5, we have to like, follow around to learn some stuff before we can figure out what his palace is and then get into it that way through I mean, that's the way it works in the game, at least. I mean, says her, you don't really know that. Oh, I thought I was going to like the Persona 5 jazzy upbeat. I mean, that's true. Technically, we've been in the... I mean, I guess, depending on where you are in this game, you have them, but we've been in the two different dream worlds with the IDA school, so... Kind of the same thing. Similar, at least. Nice that terminology like that crosses boundaries of dimensions and time. Oh, will the keyword be Salonia? Are you hearing disembodied laugh? Um, what? Really? Ah, the sort of plot convenience awakens temporarily. Next time I run a D&D campaign, I'm going to make a weapon called a Sword of Plot Convenience. That'd be awesome. At the end of the chapter, the statue figures. And this will take us into the Meta Metaverse? It's like, I love cursed power. Mm -hmm.
Interesting. You're asking me? Yeah, it's about the whole pesky having to like follow them for days on it in game thing to learn the keyword to go into the palace and then spend days running through the palace to get to the end. I still like Persona 5. I don't know if I'll play the Royal though. I do want to play Scramble though. Thirty Chrono Stones. Connecting and in we go. <laughs> I love the little jump sound. Uh, yeah, he did call them puppets, so yeah, we're in a theater. The theater. Not, not creepy at all. I mean, this is a typical normal Persona 5 looking palace, so yeah. So what's his treasure then? Because for anybody who hasn't played Persona 5 but is watching this, um, you need to get the keyword to go into their palace, you go into the palace and then they guard a treasure. But the treasure is something important to them but it only appears under extreme stress. So you have to like corner them for it to materialize and then beat the boss to do it. So it, it, it does why it takes a couple, like, even if you burn through, it could take a couple days in game to do it. So how does that, tr so I, I'm trying to think about how they would implement, oh, you're gonna find out, I suppose. I could read, read up, I don't want to, uh, about how they're gonna implement that in this game. So that's going to be their little hand wavy thing on how to fudge the rules a bit. Joker's just like, yep, pulling the gloves down. Okay, so we need to go there. Are there sh Wow, that's cool, the steps. Are there actually shadows here? Can we fight anything? A couple of runs back and forth. A couple of Naruto runs back and forth. Nope. All right. So just time to watch the show. Oh, nope, here we are. So, well, we are now starting to take out those uh, horrors. Because this is my B, this is, this isn't even like my B crew, it's like my D crew. Okay, so we get people from behind. Okay, so that actually incorporates that mechanic in this game. Cool. Can you key attack from behind? Does that mean these are gonna do it for these guys too? Or are they just tell me so we don't fight enemies at random like in the normal game? These are actual just enemies we have to fight. They're not horrors. We just gotta get from behind. 
in order to get the keys. I think. Uh, yeah, let's kill the guy who's gathering spirit. Crap, they're... Oh, well, he may increase his speed, but he's not faster than a ninja. Did we get a key? There's so many doors I want to open. I need keys! Um, you turn around? No? Oh, cute little rabbits. Let's kill them. So you didn't say we gained keys. I don't want to... These just open the pathways to the other door, like the other way down. So I kind of want to use them on... Okay, so those are locked from the inside. I imagine this one's the same deal. Oh, so wait, no, there's a, the key goes here. Oh, oh, to open up, these are just shortcuts. I had to touch them and then. No? Interesting, okay, well. Still interesting. You know, I was wondering what this, this map looks like. Oh, man. Anybody play Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk? There's like, it's a dungeon crawl. Uh, there's a map where you go through like this underground kingdom and you have to fight all these old gnomes and stuff. It, this, I'm like, this map reminds me completely of that. Well, if we knew, we would get it. Okay, is this random battle time? Ooh, stone stones. Useful? I mean, they're materials, so we make stuff with them. We're not fighting any battles, though. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a queen here. It's too quiet. I don't have a key, because we haven't fought anybody. Is it something big? Oh, yeah, it's Shadow Him. Yeah, everybody says that, but they have like glowing yellow eyes and like a different colored skin tint. Oh no, eight, sorry, nine easily disposable rabbit monsters. Ooh, no, 10. That, that was the magic number. Now we're screwed. Uh, fight. Yep, that's the way to, to split them up so that you only get Mona and Joker. Oh man, if I just use Zetch, you can just do one move and take all those guys out. Everybody else in the family is like, the hell, guys, we're right here. Kind of, yes. 
Air. <laughs> it says the cat who escaped. Yes, sure they will fare better this time. Do we get more keys or... Nope, okay, so let's just go inside then. Don't know how much I'll, I'll just keep in. If I find, any, find anybody cool, I'll put it in here. But for right now, I'm just gonna try to get to where their guys are. We got a fur coat item? It's a key item. That's interesting. Oh yeah, rabbit citizens. Like, we're not even using characters who are above the, like, Tsubame is the only one who's like, because uh, she's, a ma she's a mage and a healer, so, you know, she doesn't really count as a fighter. Okay, so teddy bears do mean something. All right. But other than that, like, we're shredding these guys, and we're not even at, like, an advanced level lot or anything. So that's the way the door, but it also means another guy over here potentially guarding something I want. Uh, did I use a key I didn't have to? Uh, also, I mean, I don't think I've equipped Joker and, and Morgana. Yeah, I could have gone here the whole time. So th did I waste that key? Hmm. Alright, let's see what happened to the crew. Like I said, it may not sound like I ever equipped Joker and Magana, but those, they're the kind of characters whose uh, appearance does not change regardless of what weapons they have. Ah, oh, that seemed like a good idea at the time. But do you yeah, do you not see the giant lock on it? We mean there must be it's clearly visible. They're basically saying it's a boss it's gonna be a boss shadow. Shadow detected. That was the beat them both. Okay, woo, but that's gonna do it for this one. There we go. Uh, th uh, there, <laughs> I'm like, I don't wanna fight that guy again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. So, uh, this is moving along. This seems like it's not gonna be too difficult because we're, I mean, sh I need to get her leveled up to do better healing, but that's, that's why she's in here, so she can get more levels up. Uh, but other than that, she's, you know, the, the regen and everything, that she's doing fine. So, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. I'm gonna stick with this party. I think it's good and get, you know, Seal and Miyu, I can get leveled up and Miyu's in there for, like, if I need to, if I need to bring in a heavy hitter quick, I can just, like, take out Joker and Morgana and put in someone who can do some real damage. And Tsubami's, uh, working out pretty well so far, so I'll stick with her, too. Um, but next time we'll go back to... Oh, man, I can't even think. The Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch. Uh, we're actually in the forest for there, and we're going to start moving along. Hopefully I have enough uh, dark residue to get to continue with that one, but that'll be the next time. So until then, 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.